John's hatred for LCD displays is legendary. But how did gamers react as a whole during the transition from CRT in the mid-2000s? I don't seem to remember there being much of a fuss. But today it's hard to imagine hardcore enthusiasts giving up their deep black levels, crisp refresh rates, motion clarity, etc. Even if the advantages of LCD for the average consumer, uh, less expensive, smaller, lighter, are obvious. Well, this is, that was an interesting time, really, wasn't it, John? Because um, I think on the one hand, uh, in, in the TV space, we were moving into plasma, which was looking pretty good uh, compared to LCD. But also the thing with LCD was that for the first time, you were actually seeing the pixel structure and it actually looked quite interesting to see that, right? It was mm-hmm. like a, mm-hmm. uh, a frame grabber grab as your actual final yeah, you know, in motion, as your final display is super crisp. But yeah, I mean, we did give up a lot, but it was kind of like, just seemed to be cool. I don't think there was a lot of science surrounding it at the time. I I remember it specifically because I was still, uh, that was when I was um, finishing university and I was doing some help out at a company, like getting, dipping my toe in IT. And I remember people there all wanting flat panels just because it was flat and cool to them. That was it. And even back then, I remember thinking like, oh man, why do they want this? This is, like, These suck. And you got to remember LCDs during that era were really bad, like really bad. They're so ugly looking, like the worst viewing angles you can imagine, like tons of ghosting and blurring everywhere. Yeah. Just completely garbage displays with horrible scalers. <laughs> like I would never use, I, cause so I was crazy. When I wanted to buy a new TV, I would take hardware to the stores like H H Greg or Best Buy or something, which was around where I was. And I would ask them, can I test these TVs? And they were usually like, okay, no problem. So I'd go around hooking things up to all the different models and run tests on them. And I remember being horrified by the state of TVs at that time. Like this is just unusable. Uh, and eventually then I, I found plasma and plasma was still not CRT perfect because there was a bit of that like yellow trailing on motion and you get that PWM noise. It's a little sparkly up close, but it was like the, the best thing you could find. So for years I kept a plasma TV in my living room and a CRT on my desk. And I remember one time I actually bought a Samsung LCD around like 2010. And I was like, well, maybe it's finally time. I bought it. And that first one, I returned it. Cause I was just, I was so bummed out by it and it really is just motion clarity, the lack of black levels, all that stuff. Uh, cause I, I remember being huge into horror games before this point. And this is what was surprising me about other people playing games. And I actually think maybe this happened without people realizing it, but horror games were huge during the PS2 era, but then LCDs came in the next gen and there was a sense that they never quite felt the same like you play doom 3 on an lcd and it's just a mess right because there's so much empty negative space it's just pure black and it just reveals the backlight so as a result you saw developers then sort of uh, making up for this by making their horror games much brighter so you see more stuff in the scene which in my opinion kind of reduced the tension in a lot of those scenes so the dark horror kind of went away and it sort of changed i mean there was still stuff like dead space but Again, not great on LCDs. And I think we're finally getting back to the point where black levels are good again. And so I think developers can do this stuff now. But I, outside of my circle of of nerd friends, uh, most people really just saw flat screens. Like, man, that's cool. Look how flat that is. And that was the extent of their knowledge of TVs. They will, they wanted it because it was flat and more expensive. They didn't like the bulky CRTs and most of them didn't understand or even care what they were giving up. So, yeah. well, the other thing was that the screens were getting bigger, right? You know, it was, they you know, did forty inch uh, was was kind of commonplace even at the beginning. So, yeah. Um, yeah, you know, you were getting you were gaining real estate as well. Yeah, so, so, there were, so like there that were was the that, that was the one positive thing that I remember. Like I was like sixteen hundred by twelve hundred, really cool, uh, nineteen inch CRT at the time, and then I went off to university, and I was like. I just can't take this with me. I just can't. No, no. So it's understandable. I, 16 by yeah. 10, 1680 by 1050 monitor instead. I did notice the weird ghosting, actually. I do remember that, like loading up um, 
at that point in time, it had to have been like something like I like dual screened Gears of War on it or something like oh, that. Yeah. And I was just like, what the fudge? Like the color, We're, also the colors were like weirdly gray. That's what I also gray. remember. The gray. You move the, no, nothing's worse than moving the mouse cursor on a desktop uh, at 60 hertz on an older LCD. Turns into nonsense. Yeah, it's just that, a complete blur. Yeah, I remember that. But I also remember really loving, like Rich was saying, like the this looks like a perfect pixel. Like like wait, when you look at the desktop, it looks like perfect pixels. That was rare, and it was really interesting to so, see. I'm surprised you say that because I remember specifically going back and forth between flat panel and crisis and CRT. And I remember the CRT, the way the phosphors work, making the image look so much more natural and almost like well, photorealistic. Yeah, that... And then the LCD like reveals all the flaws in the graphics that made it look much more game like. And that was a, that was a real specific thing for me that I remember. Well, that, yeah, that, I was talking about the desktop graphics. Though. Oh, like, just the I, desktop. I agree with that. Yeah, like in terms of like looking at icons and stuff like that, which was really great. And then I thought the sixteen by ten real estate was something that I was just like really, really happy with. I like, I prefer widescreen to four yeah. by three if I have a choice. Like. Uh, well, not they, like yeah, yeah. That, that that's the good one. Like sixteen by ten is probably like the ultimate. It's God's ratio. I don't it's know. Good. It's, it's good.